Hello everyone, welcome to Summon Tooth. My friend cars been serviced for two years and now come driving and have a trouble red light. So red engine lights on and he start to see me. If no red engine light on, he never see me again. So let's see, 100 and uh, 100 say 120,000 K. Engine light on, they call oil cool and top top, but uh, he was run uh, overheat light the other Hyundai Toyota Hilux so pop up the bonus for the car Mercedes CL 200 here a over here okay red lever and pop it up and we check and we try the first of all full service engine and uh, oil and we may have to order the Soko Sova if he want because the um, he complaining he passed the speed hump and uh, the car making knocking noise on the socks so we test the socks if we push like um, we try to pump here and you release see the car still wobbling see that means the socks all front is gone but if you press like this you release and the car stays still straight away that means the socks is good and nearly 120,000 k I go up with the uh, oil like I go thicker and have to be using the European oil Instead of pen right, we're using this one. It's very good oil too. This one suit for ask your suppliers which oil suit for which car. But this car, you really need to go for a European car, okay? Check it out and uh, oil change and uh, see what happened from there. We need nearly eight liters something in here. Set low oil cooling, that means the engine go overheat. Hot, hot, and uh, need to pop it up. In European car, be very careful, all the little houses here check no more see any crack because this one like instant noodles they are very crunchy and it's very easy to broken everywhere when you pull the kink you have to buy the whole new houses they don't sell them separate so be careful about that and uh, the car not respond very well too because the this one broken too so this one broken so mouth here yeah, you can you can move my hand okay that one yeah mostly some engine mouth is gone as well so um socks engine mouth get the chassis number you can ask for a second hand one or the new one on if you want it's really gone and uh, we go from there but uh we put top up more oil, water more coolant whatever color is and then use your pump pump it and see where the water leak maybe maybe the radiator leak see how they go okay the light on it's same at the Hilux it's go super hot and it's send out to the car converter the the oxygen sensor and they tell you the engine is dying because um, they may cut up sometimes you know that's how when you do everything and then we reset again and yeah very careful put an eye on the water Mostly, I say this model check all around the crack or heat the house, all plastic. Okay, instant noodles, instant noodles. Sir. Okay, put water on, pump, and see how it goes. Before service, I want to check see any leak on the bottles or somewhere. Why this one got overheat, and then uh, we go there. So hopefully this will go in. Hopefully this one. Yep. Okay, we got that one on. Luckily, we got one fit on. And go here. And we pump into the <coughs> give a good pump. And you get yourself a torch and check. See any leaking, okay? Okay, just leave it there. And uh, it's on position there, red. And you leak out the radiator, checking. Okay, keep leave it there. Do service. The pressure is still there. Somehow, I don't know. Still trying to do my best, to do my best. And uh, take up the oil. So we have to take up this one to see underneath, see any leak out. The gate, it go down a little bit. The gate go down, you see? And I open up the cover 
and you can see the story from there that's why it go low and go overheat because uh, the water is leaked there you can see that's why if you don't open up the cover you would never see so we can see the story from there after we put pressure let it pump out and we can go down underneath here and find out what's wrong from there underneath there we have to go this side and see where they're from see I told you bring it from the side down so there must be cracked from there here the hole somewhere along the engine block or I don't know see this one wet in there there so that mean it form it form everywhere on the top falling down so where it's from so it must be the crack or anyway shit and uh, we can't see from the top of course you cannot see from the top and we cannot see from here okay we have to go on the top look now with a heater house or behind the pump see see that the that's a story that's what we want to know that's what we want to see where from see the heater there and that must be that house there see that house this house here go down somewhere so that must be leaked from there so the coolant into the heater house so okay that must be one of the flux behind the engine somewhere there and it cracked underneath there see not simple but uh, not easy to touch it not easy to feel it and not easy to fix it now we do service first and come back with the leaking later we see the oil filter on this area here number 24 25 they said 25 m5 go there and now i, I take off the cover and later i can sneak my hand go and feel behind here see where the leak from we're chasing from this house go down from this main one and we get from there otherwise we can take up this side of the wheels and you can see the whole wall in there maybe water pump leak from there who know but uh, take up the oil and uh we go from there man and uh yeah been uh, replaced the oil gearbox and all that it's been very good car for two years so far two years yeah and no trouble at all but something coming up like this we have to uh, fix it and make the car go again forever lucky he sees simon but let me do some working so i can get on my business so if you don't know how be quiet okay let me do some business man some money man make some money anyway anyway yeah the see the old water see the old mark water mark is uh, all along there and you will look up there's the valve behind here so i don't know so you don't know you can see it and tell you what it's all bloody plastic okay all about plastic man and uh, it's still very hard to see because along the way not easy at all for some reason remove the intake and i worry it's gonna crack everywhere broken everywhere big job big job have to take up the manifold for sure okay and uh, we go from there so it's not easy jobs it's a big job and hopefully when i take up some bolt here here and i can remove the manifold and i can take out the heater the thermostat control underneath there it's really no hand at all for you guys to do it so be very careful and need very sticky hand or otherwise you're breaking or cracking all these shit houses be careful okay all these houses it's very hard job but uh enjoy man enjoy it okay filter i'm gonna go open up you got the um when you buy them they come with the three rings so a big one medium one and small one so make sure we have to re re replace them all 
because the the pump when they pump up they lose pressure and they don't go through the filter and they don't press up the oil and you may damage your oil pump now very careful using this one take off every single clip and uh, that attack into the manifold here don't break anything or no that little sensor or anything they will trouble and they cut your arm and leg oh fuck me dead how the fuck they get it out and they got two of them so you better make a mark on each one so don't go wrong i have a lot of fun with it sometimes i'm squaring but uh sorry mate i cannot stop myself squaring you know sorry mate because this car is uh so ridiculous okay so ridiculous really bullshit be careful okay don't break anything man it doesn't like to be broken this all oh, this plastic man be careful oh fuck me ridiculous okay we put this on here just in case something falling or you can get something bigger bigger okay don't stop the engine that's something bigger there we go this one throw out get a new one on later new one leave it here and take this tray up take this tray up adapter long all the way going through that asshole there the four bolt that's for holding the throttle body one okay done see this one see we need the very long one see adapter put away okay and we come out with the four bolt very long four screw put up here you pin car you should have something like this okay this is number 10 mil torx go in here and uh, undo by all ratchets and uh, take it all out okay we got the size we need a little adapter and we can take it out so eight cylinder a uh, four cylinder would be eight of them one here and one here so all around would be eight of them okay i don't know anything underneath or not if there is we're not happy at all because uh it's really painful already there are a lot more to go that's how there the clip there have to come out and then you can pull it out okay take it out really need some tools like this short go in squeeze it in and take it out and it should come up later put them back in squeeze it or you can using the screw whatever it is now you can take it out see what i tried to explain to you underneath you can't touch your hand or anywhere underneath there so be careful don't drop anything get the racks put in four of this many total intake before you do anything just in case something falls in the engine and you'll be crying so we're gonna take up slowly see that all the houses got to come up and you see the housing there we have to take up and order the whole housing the worst one is in the behind there we're gonna mow out and cover up like this with all four cylinder and if anyone asks me have i been to the moon i simply tell them that i've been to the moon already so now i take the clamps out move all every single clamp to the houses and then we can take up the thermostat from there there's still a lot of wiring underneath there uh, from the factory i i don't know how they install the engine on but uh you see all the houses in the install and i really have no hand or any grip to put in to undo the clips here the clips here and later if you are love your friend don't put the original one back please using the the don't put this one back because it's very hard for everyone to take it off using the clamps using clamps one two three four five whatever clamp here take this one up use the clamp for them please if you love your friend okay i love them my friend I don't want them have trouble like me we've been idiot and uh, do all that shit here see very hard but uh, after we take up take up all this we're using clamps so much, much easy for everyone else i don't think about for myself i think for someone else much easy to do it so i have to cut this one trim cut the metal here 
to make it soft and open up. Most CL, CLA engine, all about the same to take off and uh, patient and enjoy every single moment of your life. And that two bolt along there, make sure put the racks all over there like I did and do that two bolt. All you do is just gig it and pull it out and uh, order and waiting for Monday, today, Friday. So we don't have them in stock. No complaining. Enjoy every moment of your life. Do it, okay? Okay, wait and uh, you got everything and put back in together. Two bolt there and you gig it, it come out. Gig it because it's got a little O-rings in here. And if you see the damage, see this one. It's supposed to go water coming out here too because this one cracked and like banana. It come out from here slowly. It come outside. So it come out on this side as well. And main key is from here, see? From here as well. See? Corrosion. And uh, yeah, when we buy a uh, thermostat housing, they come complete. But after uh, when we put on, we clean all around the hole that was with the uh, big o-ring go in here we clean and uh, I always silicone so I make sure I put some silicone and I want to stay there forever so that's how it called the thermostat housing they come together in one pieces so wait for the pop turn up and we put this one on and then we slide back on okay no trauma so if you know how to take it up and enjoy every moment you be careful all the plastic houses so don't let any of them broken because it's so ridiculous here you go